up everybody for the Winitachi here you know what it is and thank you very much for tuning in to a brand new video so these are going to be two different videos I've already got the idea planned I've already got the idea set up so I just got out of the shower as you guys can already tell by the title of this video this is going to be the Blizzard Entertainment Offices vlog now I don't know what to expect I don't know what we have planned there but I'm about to head on out for a two hour drive down south into the Blizzard offices where I'm about to meet Cart J, who's part of the community World of Warcraft team, and he's basically going to take me around the offices down there, and this is my first time going, I'm about to see that goddamn beautiful orc statue, as you guys know what's up, that is basically like the main thing everybody always talks about when they go there, it's right outside the offices, that orc statue, you guys will definitely see a picture of that, but pretty much I'm going to take as much videos and much pictures as I can of cool little things that I see there, um, this is going to be the vlog for that. There's going to be one that is going to be edited and one that is not going to be edited. So the reason why I'm going to be doing that is for those of you that want to experience just the pictures themselves and the video, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a non-edited version so you guys can pause the video and all that stuff, check out the pictures. And then I'm also going to try and mess around with one and edit one uh, as best as possible. But without further ado, got a long drive right here, just woke up, got out of the shower, just ate my breakfast, about to head on out for a two hour drive and I'll catch you guys in a bit.
so I hope you enjoyed that video, that little quick clip of some of the stuff that I was able to do. It was actually a very fun experience, and the workers there are absolutely the nicest people of all times. It makes you want to work there personally. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things that I got, but really quickly I want to show you some of the stuff that I already have. Um, featuring World of Warcraft stuff, so let me go ahead and do a little quick camera switcheroo here. Alrighty everybody, so as you guys can see, starting off with on the top of my wall, absolutely pretty much solo over here, just above the uh, closet. Uh, it is a life-size model of the Mr. Pandaria World of Warcraft expansion set. I received this when I went to the launch event for Mr. Pandaria. I've been to every single launch event since Cataclysm. I've been playing the game since Burning, just be right before Burning Crusade. Um, but I never went to the launch events for Burning Crusade and, uh, Wrath of the Lich King. So I started going ever since, uh, Cataclysm came out. And on top of my bookshelf here, as you guys can see, it's all of my World of Warcraft stuff. I, uh, I got, most of this is actually from BlizzCon. Um, so I got my BlizzCon guide. I've got my BlizzCon, uh, key set up in the back. My NVIDIA pin. I got the collector's editions in the back over there. As you guys can see for Warlords of Draenor and Mr. Pandaria. I've got the actual regular boxes for the regular Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, as well as even my boy over here of Cataclysm. Uh, i got a poster in the background over there. Um, we've got the little goodies, the little uh, action figures over here from BlizzCon. Uh, we got the DVD over here. we got some cups in the background. And um, this little red wristband right here, it does light up. It was for the Horde. I do have a blue one somewhere. And in the back right behind that is the actual pass, the visitor's pass that I did for tonight. Or earlier today, I should say. Sorry, not tonight. And um, it, right behind that is a Lego set of one of the characters. A Mega Block set. And that is about it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys quickly something that I received today that I have set up over here. It is very nice that I received this. I didn't expect to receive anything. It is a BlizzCon poster here. And it is, it's, it's this actual foam board. So it's really sturdy and really stable. It features all of the brand new... Um, World of Warcraft uh, characters, as you guys can see, well, they're not brand new World of Warcraft characters, but it features all of the, sorry about the, the light, by the way. Uh, we got Sylvanas, we got Nova from StarCraft, Sylvanas from World of Warcraft, we got Diablo from Diablo. Um, we've got, what is this, what is this? Is this, free, this looks like freaking Chromie. Looks like Chromie, but I can't really tell, and I'm assuming that was for Heroes of the Storm. We got a Dwarf from uh, Hearthstone, as well as Anna from... Uh, Overwatch, so all of the characters, a single character for every single Blizzard Entertainment game. And I'm keeping that there for right now. And then on the bottom right is the uh, business card for Cart J. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. This was actually a very fun experience. It's not that many people get to go to the Blizzard offices and get their own personal tour of the offices. Um, I was just there by myself with Carjay and he gave me a tour around everything he could possibly give me. Um, some places we couldn't go to. And most of the things down there are absolutely just offices. Um, so there was kind of pointless to send me into someone else's office and say, this is his computer, this is his mouse, this is his mouse pad. So he sent me to, he took me to everything that he could. We saw the, um, the Overwatch video that you guys saw. Uh, pretty much that was a museum type area. It's in the very front of the offices. And they changed that every three months. So... It could be Overwatch for three months, it could be World of Warcraft for three months. Every three months they do change the layout of that little museum area. All the statues that we saw with Illidan, with Nova, with Kerrigan, uh, we also saw Tracer, the two Tracer statues. All of those are statues that actually go to BlizzCon. So every single year there's a brand new statue that gets featured at BlizzCon and they just basically set them up around the offices, around all of the buildings uh, down there in Irvine, California. Um, so we were able to see the statues. I was able to see a couple of offices. Um, we saw the library. The library had all the archives of everything Blizzard related. All comics. All, uh, some, most of the plushies. Um, but pretty much all uh, board games and all comics and all books have been placed in the library. And the library was really cool. And we did get to see Frostmourne there as well. Um, I did not get to touch it as you guys saw the post-it. And we also went to go ahead across the street. They also have their plushie distribution site. So we got to see the plushies being made. Um, I was not able to record inside of that. There were some places that I couldn't record. I was only able to record a certain, a little bit of uh, what we saw. 
But other than that, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by Father Wenatachi. Remember, we upload daily. We live stream at nights. Peace out, everybody.